everyone, so I wanted to do a video on how I get my hair to curl just the way I do it. You've been re requesting it and I thought I'd just show you. So I've literally just washed my hair like normal, I use a shampoo and conditioner, um, just conditioner on my ends and then this is basically just towel dried and then I've actually already sprayed in some KMS, this is a um, texturizing spray it's kind of like a sea salt spray I've literally just sprayed a few bits just in the roots nothing too much nothing too um, like crazy because otherwise I feel like it kind of makes your hair feel really gritty and I don't want that so I just put a little bit in in the roots and then I'm just about to spray my hair with some um, heat protectant which is the Swartzkoft got to be guardian angel and I'll leave it linked below it's up to like 230 degrees and I just mainly put that in the ends of my hair. It's so obviously to protect it from like my styling um, curlers and my hair dryer. If I'm not in a rush, I'll pretty much let my hair dry naturally and then I'll curl it. And I actually prefer that because my hair, generally um, when I blow dry it, it's so straight and it's just naturally straight. But if I let it to dry naturally, it has its own sort of wave, which is quite nice. But I haven't got time today, so I'm gonna quickly blow dry it, dry it really, really quickly. My hair is quite, it's like medium thickness. I wouldn't say it's really fine, but it's not thick either. And it dries quite quickly. Um, my hair dryer is actually quite ancient. It looks massive, but it's kind of like a retro one. It's by Morphe Richards. And if I can find it online, I'll link it below. But I really like it, it's really, really good. And as you can see though, it is giant. Um, so it's quite heavy. So I'm going to quickly blow dry my hair and if you're someone like me that has really quite flat limp hair it's always good to blow dry your hair upside down because it just gives it more volume and texture and it's just yeah it's better than drying it with a brush as well I find um, especially if you want like a good beachy sort of wavy look. Okay so my hair is practically dry and as you can see it's quite voluminous. I don't necessarily um, dry it with a specific part in. I find that's just the better way to do it and I find a, just a reasonable part in when I um, like that. See, so it kind of just find one um, when I go to style my hair. But yeah, you can see it's practically quite straight. It's just naturally really straight, but there's a bit of volume, which is quite nice. So I put on my Remington Pearl Wand. This is amazing. I've had it for probably coming on five years and it's just amazing. It costs 25 pounds and honestly, it's the best hair like style I've ever used. It's so quick. I got this from Boots, like I said, five years ago and I use it all the time now. Um, I probably use it more than ever. Now my hair has more sort of length um, layers and like I have to style it a little bit more, but I quite like it and it's just so convenient. I can do my hair so quickly um, and it heats up really quickly. And I think the temperature, it goes up to 210 degrees, which isn't the hottest um, of some sort of wands and um, straightness and stuff, but it's hot enough. It's definitely hot enough. And the way I always use this hairstyler, once it's heat up, it literally takes, I don't know how many seconds, probably about 15 seconds to actually fully heat up. I basically find my part in, or find a part in that I want to use and I don't brush it, I don't usually do anything, I literally just choose how I want my hair and then I literally pick sections from which I want to curl. So I'll pick this section and then I always put my wand upside down, it's just the way I've always done it, it's just the easiest and then I wrap my hair around away from my face and just make sure you don't burn your fingers. I never burn my fingers anymore, I'm just so used to doing this. But you just hold it on there for a few seconds and then take it off and you sort of get like a messy sort of curl. And I pretty much just leave it there until I'm ready to sort of style my hair. Um, and I just go through sections and it's just so quick, it's just ridiculously quick. Like that. And if my hair naturally dries, I feel like I don't have to do as many sections because my hair has a bit more of a kink and wave to it. So it, it doesn't look as obvious as like now I've got really straight hair. So I kind of feel like I have to do quite a few um, curls. But still, I don't necessarily do my forehead. I always do, I always leave bits like underneath. I mean, I'm not that bothered to be honest, as long as it doesn't look silly. Um, you can pretty much get away with doing the top half or the front half and a few sections in the back. 
You can see how quickly this is done. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Just throw a few curls in. Um, you can use hairspray if you want to as well. I actually don't use hairspray. I just, I don't necessarily need to. I find the wand holds the curl really, really well. I don't ever need to put any extra product on usually. Um, unless I'm going out on an evening and I really, really want it to last, then I probably won't put any hairspray on. And I really just like the messy, the messy sort of look. Once you've been outside and, you know, your hair gets a bit windy, it doesn't really matter. Um, sorry, you can see my arm. And then again, I just go with the front section. The front section, I have to admit, is probably the hardest, especially if you're not used to curling your hair, because you don't obviously want in your face and you don't want it to look too much like sometimes it can be too much too much of a curl if you know what I mean I'm actually tempted to um, I'm considering having a bit more cut off I feel like my hair's grown so quickly already um, my hair just grows really quickly I don't know why but I just you know it was down here when I had a, the big chop and it's just grown already and it's only been probably about I don't know, maybe five, six weeks since I had like a big cut, a lot cut off. My tummy's going, I'm hungry. Nothing new. Um, right, so I'm going to turn that off. And you can see my hair looks like this. And pretty much all I do, just literally just rough up a little bit. Nothing too much. I don't ever brush through it because I find if you brush through it, it gets frizzy and I, you know, you don't sort of want the frizzy look. You still want your curls, but you just you need to separate them a bit, give it a little volume. Like I said, you could throw a little bit of hairspray in it if you want to. Um, but I pretty much just leave it like this. You know, I, I tuck a bit behind my ear just to make it look a slightly more natural. Um, you could pop a few pins in it if you, you don't like bits in your face. You could just, you know, pull a bit back. And yeah, that is pretty much how I do my hair. That's, it's so quick, it's so easy. And to be honest, with the pearl wand, I find um, the curls last the next day. I always have a good head of curls the next day, which is great. And I don't even, like I said, I don't put hairspray in it. I don't make, put anything in it to make it hold longer or it still feels like fresh, clean hair the next day. And usually on day two, I either stick it up and um, give it, you know, have like a really messy ponytail and then the ends are already curled so it just looks quite like a messy updo and it's just really simple or I just, I don't brush it, I actually don't brush it, I just literally leave it again like this and I just sort of fluff around with it, I maybe put a little bit of dry shampoo like in the roots if it's looking a little bit rough, like a little bit, tiny bit greasy, although second day is usually okay but you know, a little bit of dry shampoo sometimes just gives it a, like a fresher look and that is pretty much it. That's how I do my hair. It's nothing too difficult. And um, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful, especially for you mummies out there. I know it's really hard, it's like when you haven't got much time to like style your hair. I, you know me, I've always been one to just put my hair in a big ponytail, especially when my hair was one length. It's just more convenient. It's just easy. But I feel like now, I suppose I've, I kind of have to maintain it. I have to. I have to style it slightly, I can't just throw in a big ponytail because it just looks an absolute mess. I used to be able to get away with it with one length, but now I feel like um, I quite enjoy styling it actually and I feel like I have a bit more time to, so why not make a bit more effort? Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, I'll leave all the links of everything that I've used down below and I will see you all soon.